Good day everyone, my name is Mahilen and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am in a place called Thalai Mannar in Northern Sri Lanka. In this video, we are going to go and visit few historically important places in Thalai Mannar. It is believed that there are traces of a bridge called as Ramar Palam which was built in between Sri Lanka and India very very long ago and we are going to visit that place in this video. There are also few other places like the oldest railway station, the Yeti, the lighthouse and also a couple of tombs which are believed as the tombs of 240 feet people in this district to visit. We are going to visit all these places in this video and if you guys are watching this channel without subscription, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's start our journey. Alright guys, now we have arrived to the Thalai Mannar Yeti. There is a board here with the information about the bridge between Sri Lanka and India and ferry services happened between these two countries. Let's read this now. This is the closest place of India to Sri Lanka. You can see Rameswaram city and Danish Kodi there and Thalai Mannar here in Sri Lanka. Now we are currently standing at Thalai Mannar Pier and you can see the Mannar Island here. In between Sri Lanka and India, you can see the old ferry service route which ran between Talamannar, Rameswaram and Danish Kodi. In this map, you can also see the bridge existed between Sri Lanka and India which is called as Adams Bridge. The locals call this bridge as Ram Setu or Ramar Palam. I don't think there is any vehicle access to that bridge but we can possibly go by boat. It is mentioned here that from 1914 Indian workers were brought to Sri Lanka for tea plantation works and from 1914 to 1984 there was a ferry called RMS Ramanujam was operating between Sri Lanka and India carrying and transporting people and goods. It is also mentioned that there was a railway station built back in days to bring the Indian workers from the hill country in a train to board the ferry. The picture of the railway track taken in 1982 is shown here. This railway track is 960 feet long into the sea and as it is destroyed a lot, no one is allowed to access that now. You guys can see that in the video. Now we are going to have a look at the historical lighthouse guys, let's go and see that now. The sea seems rough today and the waves are hitting the shore hard. We can see the old railway bridge at the far and on the left hand side we can see the old historical lighthouse. Let's go there and have a closer look. It is believed that the lighthouse was built in early 1800s. It was destroyed many times and then it was renovated and rehabilitated. Now this lighthouse provides direction for all the fishing boats, ferries and other kind of ships. Look at the far guys, you can see a turtle over there. Let's go and have a closer look at. I think it's dead guys, that's why the birds were preying on him. I feel sorry for this guy.
This is the oldest railway track guys. Look how much it is destroyed. As it was built 100 years ago and people stopped using this for a long time. It is rusted and decayed very much. You can see few people fishing from the shore of this beach. There are also some fishermen who went to the sea last night or this morning, returned with some fishes and seafood they caught from the sea. Alright guys, next we are trying to go on a boat and see the oldest bridge built between Sri Lanka and India which I earlier mentioned as Ramar Palam but before that we need to get the approval from Sri Lankan Navy. Ahmad Pulu, ne? Oh, oh, oh. Are, 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 oh, yeah, me, written confirmation, go on. A few minutes later. So, guys, we spoke to a Navy officer from the camp behind me. It was quite a long conversation, and what he said was common people entering that area is prohibited now because of more drug trafficking and illegal activities happening around that area. Sri Lankan Navy has taken control of that area and no people other than the fishermen are allowed to go there. So unfortunately I cannot cover that old bridge in this video today. But let's go to the next location which is believed as the tombs of two 40 feet people. Alright guys we are here at our next destination. The tombs of those two people are inside and this place is now considered as a sacred place for the Muslims. Now let's go inside and see the tombs. These are the two tombs guys. The locals say that they found a couple of human skeletons in unusually bigger size and they consider them as skeletons of two Muslim people who came to Sri Lanka before 700 years ago. It is said that their names are Khatija and Salahuddin. The fact is no one knows whether it is a real story or a myth, but it is said that whoever tries to dig these tombs becomes sick and die. So the people here consider this place as a sacred place and the Muslim community here looks after this place and the tombs. Alright guys, in this video we went to few historical places in Mannar district in Sri Lanka and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing those places through this video. If you like to watch videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another beautiful video. 
Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.